Hello and welcome to the tutorials for Rapid Rig version 2. In this first tutorial, I will simply be showing you how to get Rapid Rig running inside of Maya. So once you've downloaded Rapid Rig from Creative Crash, you will get a zip file with these two files contained inside of it. Now the best way to use these files is to put them in Maya's scripts folder. If you're unfamiliar where those uh, where that folder is, you can open one of these files inside of a text editor. If you're on PC, something like Notepad or WordPad. On the Mac, you can use something like TextEdit. Uh, I use Jedit. And once you've opened the file, you will see at the top a bunch of information about the script that you're running. And for installation, if you're on a Mac, this is the path you will be using. So you can navigate to that path and simply put the files in that folder. On PC, for Windows-based machines, you can place it in uh, Users, Your User, Documents, Maya, Scripts. And then again on the Mac, it's Users, Your User, Library, Preferences, Autodesk, Maya, Scripts. This also contains some other important information, what version you're running, and when it was uploaded. So updates are free for Rapid Rig, so I recommend that you come back frequently and grab the latest updates. There will be bug fixes, new features, and all that stuff made available for you on Creative Crash. Now that you've placed those files in your scripts folder, go ahead and launch Maya. Make sure you restart Maya. Don't just copy it in there with Maya still running because once Maya launches, it will then find those files. So quit Maya and then restart it. Now I'm running this in Maya 2013, but these scripts will work from version eight of Maya to all the way through to 2013. Now to get these scripts running, I'm going to go into my script editor. You can also use your command line, but I'm going to use my script editor for now. And you want to type in the name of the script. So I'm typing in rapid rig underscore advanced underscore version two. It's a bit long, but it's descriptive and shouldn't conflict with anything else you have, including rapid rig version one. Now that I have this, I can simply highlight it and hit enter on my keyboard and this should launch Rapid Rig Advanced to UI. So this is the user interface that we will be using to create our proxies and then generate our final rig. And then with that script, we also have our second script, Rapid Rig Anim V2. And I'll highlight that as well, and just that one line, and hit enter. And here is the second UI that you'll be using once you have your final rig generated. Now typing these out all the time, every time you restart Maya, or always having to go into your script editor, highlight, and execute them can be a bit of a pain, especially if you use these scripts quite frequently. So what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, and you're free to do this if you like, I'm going to put these into my shelf, so I have these buttons that I can quickly press. You can either copy these into an existing one, for example your custom folder, or uh, I'm going to create a new shelf. And I'm going to call this Rapid Rig and hit OK. So now I'm in Rapid Rig shelf. And if I want to bring this in there, I can simply highlight it and drag it up and drop it. And then Maya will ask me, OK, is this a Mel script or Python script? So this happens to be a Mel script, so I'll click Mel. And in a second, we should get that icon up there. And then I'm also going to do the same thing with Rapid Rig and I'm version 2, highlight it all. Drag and drop it, choose Mel again, and in a second it should show up. And there it is. So now if I click on these, I have that user interface and this user interface. And if I change any of the settings and I click it again, it will reset the window. Now I can close these and you'll see that uh, if you get a lot of these in here, it can be a bit cumbersome to find the one you want. So what we're going to do is uh, just edit them so we know what they are. So I'm going to go into Shelf Editor, and I have my Rapid Rig Advanced Version 2. If you want to give it a different name, you can. If you want to give it a different tooltip, you can. You can also load a different icon. Uh, but just to keep things simple, I'm just going to give this an icon label. So I'm going to call this RRA, short for Rapid Rig Advanced. And then for my second one, I'm just going to call this RRN. RRN, there we go. 
and for Adam. I know it's not a great tip, but it'll work. Okay, so now I have Rapid Rig Advanced and Rapid Rig Adam. If I click on this, I get my Rapid Rig Advanced. If I click on this, I get my Rapid Rig Adam. And then from there, you're ready to proceed. So in the next tutorial, I will be showing you how to actually work with creating proxies, uh, how to save and load them, going over everything that's available on this first tab. Thanks for watching, and I hope you watch the next tutorial.